Joined now on location from Eastlake, John Yarbrough, caddy for Scott Stallings. Congrats, my man, on qualifying. I appreciate it, man. It's been a been an interesting ride the last few few months, and uh, but yeah, it's it's always great to get back to Atlanta. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, number twelve on the FedEx Cup points list. Um, out with Justin Thomas tomorrow at one fifteen. You're starting at three under par. I mean, he's been playing awesome, uh, particularly of late. You had a second place last week, and then at the Travelers, he goes eighth, fourth, tenth, thirteenth. Missed a cut in Phoenix, uh, in Memphis. Maybe rest the legs a little bit, and then that second last week, you mentioned actually that your son was at uh, Travelers with you, and he's coming in this week as well. So that's awesome. I just talk about this run you've been on and what's cooking right now for Scott. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been great. Like you know, really starting. I mean, honestly, since Colonial, he's he's just he's played great golf. You know, uh, just playing. You know, I guess the easiest way to say it, he's playing like he he find like he really belongs out here. You know, after twelve years, he he belongs anyway. But you know, just sometimes you just get that feeling that now's my time, kind of thing. And he's he's taking advantage of. It. He's worked hard. Uh, he's checking all the boxes, so to speak, to, to do everything he possibly can to play the best golf he can. And and it's, you know, you don't always get the results, but he's actually get, getting to reap the benefits of it, which is nice. He really does cross his T's and dot his I's. And I got a few questions about that, but sure. um, incredible opportunity this week. Uh, how are you guys approaching it? Uh, well, well, the initial, obviously, from where, from where we were, is you're just happy to be there. You know, and coming off a good week last week. But I think, you know, uh, once you get out there and get going and you figure, like you said, we're starting in a good position, that we, we can – I feel like we can make a run for this thing. That's what we're preparing to do, exactly that. Yeah. Have you caddied in the Tour Championship before? Yeah, this is my fifth four, – fourth, fourth time, I think. Fourth okay. time. So you got yeah. some reps out there, I guess. What thoughts on the golf course and you know how it's set up, maybe particularly this week? I I actually love it. I mean, there is zero secrets here at East Lake. I mean, there's very few dog legs. Uh, everything's right in front of you. It's long, um, which plays into Scott's hands. He's uh, a very good mid iron player, and that, there's a lot of mid irons, not tons of wedges at this place. Mm -hmm. uh, the fairways fairways are tough to hit but uh usually the rough's up a little more than it is this year i mean it's but with all the rain we're supposed to get it's still going to be huge premium to hit the fairways right because bermuda when it gets wet and sticky is is no fun at all yeah that's what uh revy was saying last week when i caught up with him just on on driving the ball he felt like was like the most important thing just leads to so many more opportunities versus like you're just scrambling for pars if you're in the rough for the most part um the other setup this week what's the caddy hospitality setup like this week oh it's i mean through the years we always get taken it's always getting better and better but here is it's unbelievable i mean we have a the level wear lounge downstairs uh, right by the the chipping green and putting green and then we have our own locker room area you know names on our lockers the whole whole works uh it's they they know how to they how to really take care of us here yeah and it's Appreciate it. those weeks when you get your own locker. Those are pretty nice. It's it's nice when you roll up and you got your name on your locker. It's like yeah, yeah. this this I enjoy this. What's you got? You and Scott have been working together for a little while now. What's your favorite part about uh, catting for him? Uh, I think the the number one thing is that I have full autonomy to say what whatever I want. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, good or bad. Uh, he, he's you know it's it's. That's not always the case with some guys you work with. You always maybe sometimes have to watch what you say or when you say it, but he's he's always giving me full reign to say whatever I need to say because he, he does know I have his best interests and my best, you know, all as a team, best interests at heart. Otherwise, I wouldn't be saying it, you know. And, and you know, he's, he's not a blamer. He takes full responsibility. Uh, it just makes it easier to do your job. You know, and, and, and fun to go to work for, and plus, you know, throw in his work ethic on top of that. It, it makes it easy to go to work every day. Yeah, for sure. And one of the guys on your team that I'm a little interested in, just kind of how you and him work together, uh, Hunter Stewart, 
you know, uh, has you know been a lot about out there about him about how he works with stats and stuff. I guess I'm mostly interested in just um, how the his stuff is incorporated into the weekly game plan, and then maybe just you know how you and Scott work through that out on the golf course in real time. Well, okay, uh, pr- prime example is is uh, Sunday on number six in Delaware last week. You know, the pin was kind of tucked over on the left, just over the bunker. It was blowing down wind. And uh, if you hit driver, you're going to have, you know, that 75, 80-yard shot downwind that, that isn't super comfortable. But in the stats, he he, had, he told me that morning that he's like, go ahead and hit driver is fine. Any, any shots with lob wedge from that 70 to 80-yard range, they're holding. So you don't have to worry about stopping. Interesting. And we went up. Because when we got to the tee and Scott goes three woods, like no, you know, Hunter says his driver, like says shots are holding from the fairway from where the driver would be, and he gets up there and hits a lob wedge to the foot, and you know, kind of propelled him to go. And that's just one example, but he he he's huge. Like uh, it, it just gives Scott just another boost of confidence that that not only because because Hunter is purely math. You know, it's it's all just a math problem, and uh, but yet Hunter was also one of the top amateurs in the country, so he also gets the playing aspect, and I think that's what Scott appreciates most of all about it is that yes, it is math, but Hunter's been there, and he's been you know he's played professionally, he gets all that, so I think Scott really trusts what he has to say, and as far as me, he uh, you know he'll send me a report every week uh, on before before I get to the course on. So maybe some T adjustments that he thinks that we have done in the past that we should might change, uh, pin placements, all that stuff, and um, yeah, just honestly, it may, it's it's made my job much easier, and it's much easier to convince Scott of doing certain things on the course, right? You know, because of that, yeah, when you got more facts to back it up, um, yeah. So last one, I guess, or a couple wrapped up. There's tons of news from the tour this morning. Uh, actually, correct me if I'm wrong. A nice announcement is Scott now in the in the uh, Century Tournament of Champions in January. That is correct. Yeah, that was that was great news. We got that yesterday. That uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be in Maui now. Um, obviously, getting the three three majors and the and as always, that to me the most important thing is a two year exemption on tour. Yeah, you know and that. And that's obviously you 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 want to win. Your your whole goal is to win. Uh, last week, but everything but the trophy and everything goes along, which is obviously the most important thing. But right. all the accolades that come with a win, we still got in the in the end. We got a two year exemption. We got Masters, uh, tournament of champions. So. And, you know, obviously the, the prize money was more, so it's almost like a winner's check anyway. So, right, right. Uh, but yeah, it, it's huge, huge. You, between uh, Sahith and uh, Scott and a couple other others that when the news came, it was, it was it's great news. I mean, I couldn't, couldn't be more happier to get news like that. Right. Well, what's the buzz been or been like among players and caddies on the ground this week? I mean, there's just so many things going on in the world of golf. And I, I, you can divulge as much as you want to or say pass. I mean, as someone yourself, I mean, you've served on the APTC board for a long time. You know, what kind of changes are you looking forward to as it relates to caddies? I mean, just maybe boiling this down to what's changing on tour, the new announcements, and just how it relates to, to us. Uh, I think I think it's going to benefit everyone, I, obviously. I mean, I think most of the changes are – well, they're necessary to keep up with everything else that's going on in the game. Um, but from our standpoint, I think we're we're starting to be uh, included in the equations of, of getting better, tournaments better, um, better care for us. Uh, which, as a past, it's, in the past, it's always been somewhat of an afterthought. Like, oh, we, oh yeah, we got caddies, we got to take care of. Them. But now, I think. Um, goes along with just as a as a team you're considered more of a team now than you were years ago that that we are essential you know whether some guys like it or not we are essential and and the you know tournament directors are starting to recognize that they being being on the board i do know that uh many, lots of the tournament directors reach out to us 
and uh, do I always ask questions: How can we get better? What what can we do better? You know, things like that. Which in the past that never happened. Yeah. So, so just being recognized more as a true profession, I think, is is the most important. And not obviously the all the other stuff. You know, the extra purses, all that stuff is great too. But but being actually recognized as a legitimate true profession is is great. I think. Well, hey, thanks for taking some time out today. I, I, I'll have to get in there and say I like how Scott's got the no bull thing going right now. I think you're in on that a little bit, too. We'll keep an yep. eye on that. Uh, yep. Dude, congrats on, on making the Tour Championship. Have a heck of a week out there. Thanks, Red House. I appreciate it, buddy.